hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system in php so now guys in this video we'll be seeing about how to remove this each item from our session cart variable okay so guys now let's get started so first let's move to our editor and you need to search for this admin folder and then order create.php file okay so let's get back to our editor so guys let's move inside admin you need to find that order create.php file here is the file and you have a remove button okay which is visible over here in a red button okay let me yes so now guys here in the href we have created order item delete dot php and created a parameter that is index and passing the value of key so what is this key you have looped the session right so inside that session products you are getting that index value okay so we are understanding as key here and we are sending that over here so now guys why why are we sending this we'll be seeing in this process so guys now let's get started so first let's copy this file i mean string value and create a file order item delete dot php file okay so now guys let us uh, write the code for delete the product from our session variable okay open php close php require the function dot php file so go one step back config folder forward slash function dot php and now guys get the parameter result is equal to check param id so this is the function we have created to get the parameter value okay so what is the parameter name so we are basically sending that it is index okay so let's copy this index so from this index parameter whatever value you get you are sending here and now guys let us see it should be as integer only so we can check using is numeric function in php okay and now guys let's open and close the curly brace and give a else condition over here done and now use a redirect function to redirect back so where do you want to redirect i just want to redirect on the same page that is order create.php so let's move back paste here and now guys you can pass the message param not numeric numeric so if it's numeric then you are going to get the index value so index value is nothing but uh, the checked parameter result okay so what we'll do let's tell dollar index value equal to use a validate function to validate the data and now guys use a is set function to check whether the product is set or not okay so user is set function dollar underscore session of the product items what you have created so let me go to my orders create orders code dot php and while creating the order we have created the session right okay while adding here is my product details and here is the value guys so we have two sessions that is product items and product item ids so let's get back paste here one is product item and and again use a is set function to check with the second session value session of the product item ids okay so let us copy this paste here if this both is set then you are going to remove the session value okay so not the complete session only the uh, sent index session okay so you can just paste like this and just add uh, another array and pass this value index value okay that's it guys copy and paste and check for this id also done now you can copy this and paste here and redirect him by saying item removed and then copy and paste here there is no item okay so now guys let us save and see the output get back to your order create okay let's move refresh let me add one item red mi quantity 10 add item done so here we have the item now i'm going to remove click on remove item remove perfect okay so here we see let me remove all the items done okay but here you see guys that it's showing the table view right 
so you don't want to show this table view because we don't have any data right now so for that you can just add a simple code here okay let's get on the top of this order create.php so here is my if condition starting after this variable only use a if condition open and close and just check using empty function if this value okay if this variable is empty then you need to unset that session okay so dollar underscore session of so let me copy that so here is my product items and your ids also both you have to copy and paste so let's paste here copy again Control cv done now let's copy this ids and paste so one is my product item ids and one product items so now guys let's get back refresh perfect done so now guys we have successfully completed with how to remove the your stored items from the session okay so guys let's continue the next video with new topic of this pos system so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share